Hi friends. This is a flower that I made with stocking uh, cloth. And these are the stamens that I showed you in an earlier tutorial. Okay, I've used white stocking cloth and some binding wire with gum tape to make the stem. I will show you this project today friends how to make this make a bunch of these and put it in a vase and it looks so gorgeous won't it so come let's get started I will show you how to make this flower I will start with making uh, the petals I've already shown you how to make the stamen I will start uh, to make the petals and then we'll make the flower with the stem all right all right friends see you stay tuned good evening friends i'm going to be showing you how to make these flower petals as discussed okay i've made some and kept of different sizes all right I've got some tinier ones also you can make whatever size you want depending on uh, the project that you're aiming for okay so I've got some really tiny ones also so This is how the frame will look. For this project, we will need the flower making wire. I've taken the silver one. You get gold, uh, copper, uh, green, blue, all sorts of colors as well. I've taken the silver wire, flower making wire it's called. And uh, normal, normal sewing thread and ne thread not needle sorry thread a pair of scissors a pair of scissors and some pliers and some pliers all right so let's get started friends we need a base we need a base to form this ring so you uh, you can take anything uh, depending on the size of the petal that you want to make you can take anything that can form a mold okay so i have taken a very cold jar here <coughs> okay now what you need to do is just roll the wire around this Roll the wire around this like this and twist it. So after twisting it, just ease this frame out. So you get a nice round shape. You can shape it into whatever uh, uh, shape you want later. Or you can retain the round shape. Now, I forgot to mention the main thing. Uh, you need some stocking cloth as well. I've taken a piece of the stocking cloth. I've used it to make the other petals and all that. So just a small portion of it is left take take this frame of the petal that we made spread the cloth over it spread the cloth over it and pull it tight nice and tight so the frame is covered from both sides 
you need to pull the uh, cloth really tight friends so you get a nice thin layer of the petal so here we are I've pulled it nice and thin stretched it really tight now just twist this around all right okay now take the thread and start rolling it around this petal roll it around this make some knots make some knots and tie it real tight okay so this is how it look so you got your petal ready now what you need to do is cut off this excess cloth from all around it and uh, just have the petal and this wire here with you all right so now we've got our petal ready i've taken off the excess wire of uh, friends i cut it off uh, with a metal wire cutter okay metal or wire cutter it's called uh, it's just like pliers okay and uh, so we've got our petals ready we've got about three four five petals all right okay and uh, now i'll show you how to make a flower a stocking flower for this we will need thread normal thread sewing thread to tie it up some fevicol a pair of scissors and this is called gum tape gum tape to make the stem for the stem we will need what is called binding wire let me show you that as well just a moment so this is the binding wire friends to make the stem for the flower and these are the stamens i had made in my earlier video if you remember okay so i will be using these uh, stamens you needn't buy it from the shop because it costs quite a bit so you can make these st stamens at, at home itself and uh, it doesn't cost you much check out my video on that on uh, basics of making a flower stamen all right so let's get started i'm taking some yellow stamen can uh, take as many as you want depending on the size of your flower and whatever color okay so now we need to add this here we need to add this here and then add a petal add another petal okay we will arrange it and fix it and uh, shape it later for now just worry about uh, adding these petals so now uh, start tying up the petals together as you add each petal start tying it 
dying at Hapuki. You do that as you keep adding each petal. Now add one more petal. Okay. <coughs> Sorry friends, I have a bad throat. Really, really bad throat. Now, add one more petal. Okay. Tie it up nice and secure. So we have four petals here. Let's add the last one. Let the pollen, the stamen not get covered. Alright, so now tie up the last petal. I've taken five petals. You, uh, you can make flowers with any number of petals um, probably if it's a tiny one you can make uh, with three petals also larger ones maybe three four okay depending on the size now tie up all the petals together nice and securely Okay, so we have a beautiful flower forming, right? Doesn't it look lovely? We'll shape it later. All right. So now tie it up. Okay, so now I've tied it up. I've tied it nice and firm. Alright, you can see it, right? Now, we need to add the stem. Alright, you take the binding wire. Put it right up to this point, And... Tie it along with the petals, nice and tight, okay, roll it up a few times, roll up the thread a few times and tie it up nice and tight, okay, <coughs> I'm sorry I'm speaking very very softly, I hope my voice is audible because of the bad throat not able to speak too well okay now cut off this thread cut off the thread now what you need to do is start making the stem this is the gum tape friends you get this also in other colors, I suppose, but uh, uh, I don't know, I've not seen. I'm taking the green color to probably you get brown as well, not sure. I'm taking green color to start making the stem. Okay, cover this part up nicely now start rolling the tape around the wire okay you just need to start rolling it like this
so you start rolling this up till the bottom of the wire you can make the st stem to whatever uh, height you want so start rolling this uh, tape around the wire till you reach the very bottom I'll finish that and get back to you all right so here we are friends I have wound the gum tape to the very bottom and I'm using a little bit of uh, glue to stick it tight lest it opens up as my gum tape is a little old I mean it's quite old I should say and uh, it, it uh, feels all dried up so <coughs> I'm uh, using little bit of glue to secure it I've used a bit of glue here as well on top to make it nice and tight and hold on tight now let's it's ready it's ready the stem is ready so now let's shape up these petals a bit friends spread it out spread it out a bit okay now just give it a shape you can retain it as it is like this itself or you can give it a shape just squeeze the tip of each petal a bit okay So you have your flower ready friends, your stocking flower. Alright, this is the other one I had made earlier. Shown it to you also. And so we got two very beautiful looking flowers with different colored stamen. Doesn't it look lovely? I'm sure you all agree with me. Doesn't it look lovely? There you go. Yes, it does. Okay. So, that's the project for today, friends. Hope you all liked it and try it out soon at the soonest possible and i'll show you uh, some variations in this also a little later okay for now you can try out the simple uh, very basic flower with stocking cloth all right so Please do subscribe to my channel, Pandora's Heaven of Crafts and Jewelry and Endless Crafts and Jewelry. Stay tuned for more projects. Uh, please share this with uh, your friends, your contacts, your family, uh, your acquaintances, just about anybody and everybody friends. Your subscriptions matter. And remember when you are posting your videos too, you will want the same thing. You will want subscriptions and watch hours. So go ahead and uh, subscribe and press the bell icon for more such videos. Stay tuned for more. Thank you. Good night.